In this tutorial, I will guide you through the process of downloading high-resolution topographic maps from the online repository of the University of Texas Libraries. Now, this repository contains a massive collection of uh, topographic maps covering a wide range across the globe and at various spatial scales as well. And the maps themselves are extremely high resolution from various times of the history. So I would say that it's a very rich collection of data uh, if this is the sort of thing you're looking for. And the host of this repository, the University of Texas Libraries, have made them available for the public for free, which is totally amazing. All right, there's one little step that you need to take before you actually get hold of these uh, topographic maps, and that's downloading a software called Google Earth Pro completely for free, which uh, some of you might already be familiar with. And the reason for that is that it lets you sort of visually see the availability of these maps so that you can visually pick the map that you want, depending on the geographic region or the zone that you're interested in, rather than browsing through a massive catalog of data just based on the names, which might be a bit more of a tedious task. So I'm just going to open up Google and search for Google Earth Pro. And you can click on this link uh, right over here, Earth Versions. And that's going to take you to a page like this. You're going to want to click on Google Earth Pro on desktop. And that'll provide you with a link or a button to kind of go ahead and download Earth Pro on desktop like this. And you can just go ahead and say accept and download. So just in a few seconds, you're going to get an exe file to install Google Earth Pro on your local machine. So I'm just going to click on this and it's going to take a couple of seconds to sort of download Google Earth Pro. And once the installation is complete, you'll get a message like this. We're going to exit out from here. And after that, if you search for Google Earth Pro on your taskbar, you'd be able to find the application like this. Just click on that. And that should open up the Google Earth Pro application. All right, we'll minimize this application uh, just for a second. And after that, I'm going to head back to Google. And this time, I'm going to search for this link right over here, which I'll be including down in the description below as well, so that you guys can just simply copy that off of the description and paste it in whatever browser you're using. And hit enter, and that should open up this kind of a page from the University of Texas Libraries. And if you scroll all the way down, you'll see under topographic map indexes, there's one option called world-google earth map index. So this is actually the file that we're looking for. And since it's a KMZ file, we can open this file up using Google Earth Pro, which we just downloaded and configured. And we would be able to visually see the extent of various maps, which is basically the next step of this tutorial. So I'm just going to click on this once and that's going to download a KMZ file called US Army Maps version 17. And it's going to automatically detect that you guys have already configured Google Earth Pro and it's going to get opened using Google Earth Pro just like this. All right, so you can't see anything because we haven't really activated any of these layers. So you can see that a new layer appeared uh, right over here under this panel and if you keep on expanding, you will actually see four different options like this. Now there's one called world with the scale being one to 250,000. And there's another one with the scale being one to 1 million, which is also called world. And there's another option called Africa, which has a scale of one to 2 million. So we have a couple of different options. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take the one with one to 250,000 scale and activate that right over here and that should show you guys the availability of maps of this particular scale across the globe so as you can see we don't really have maps available for the entire globe completely however i would say that it covers quite a significant proportion of the earth in terms of the availability of data so for example let's say if i'm interested in downloading the topographic maps corresponding to maybe this part of uh, south africa what I would do is I would zoom all the way in and for each grid 
well, right in the middle of each grid, you will also find this kind of an icon. So I'm just going to click on this icon like this, and that should open up a dialog box like this. And there's going to be a hyperlink called map right over here. Now you could either click on this directly or the more efficient way of actually accessing the data would be to right click over here and copy the link. Then you go ahead and open up your own browser just in this manner. And after that, you can simply paste that link and hit enter. And that should open up the map for you guys like this. So because of the high resolution, you might find that it takes just a couple of seconds for the entire map to load. And if you click on it once, you can see how detailed that map is. And it includes a lot of helpful information as well, such as the corresponding projection. And uh, it mentions the scale right over here and some accompanying information right over here. So you can see that th these are definitely scanned maps from the past. And uh, if I head back to Google Earth Pro again, and maybe try to see if I can access a map from a completely different region. Let's try to get something from North America like this. Maybe this grid right over here. Well, in this case, you can see that we actually do have two different maps from two different times in the history. Let's go for the recent one, which is from 1970. So right click, copy the link, and open up your browser once again, paste the link. And guys, just like that, you can see we managed to access a very detailed topographic map like this from the repository. And if you want to save this as a JPEG file to your local disk, what you can do is you can just simply right click and select save image as. And if you're using a different browser, you might find an option that's quite similar to what this save image as does. Open up your working folder and you can just save it right over there. And if I head back to that folder, you would be able to see that JPEG file. If I double click, you can see that now I can view that as a separate JPEG file. It doesn't lose its quality or anything like that. It just preserves everything and saves it as a standalone a JPEG file like this. And if I head back to Google Earth Pro and, and try to see what we get if we were to go with a different option, for example, let's say if I activate this one to one million scale data set, well, you can see the availability of data for that. And uh, let's quickly see how that looks by, let's say, opening up a file right from here. Copy link. And well, as we expected, you can see it says right over here that the scale is one to one million, which is different from the scale that we were looking at previously, one to 250,000. However, still, you can see that they are quite sufficiently detailed maps that can be extremely valuable. All right, guys, with that, we're going to wrap up this tutorial. Hope this quick tip was useful for you guys. I'll see you again with another tutorial soon.